All right, so today we're diving deep into DeepSeek, this AI company that's kind of in a fascinating situation right now. Yeah, their whole approach has been really different, like not what we typically see coming out of Silicon Valley. Yeah, they've got this kind of stay into your sell out thing going on. Yeah. But like with cutting edge AI. Exactly. Yeah. And they've had a ton of success without going the usual venture capital route. So for some context, DeepSeek is actually part of High Flyer Quant, this Chinese quant hedge fund. Mm -hmm. They're not exactly strapped for cash. Right. And that's what makes it interesting. They've purposely avoided outside investment so they could stay focused on research without that pressure to commercialize right away. But then a few weeks ago, their AI chatbot app went totally viral, like blew up. And that kind of threw a wrench in things. Suddenly they needed way more AI chips and servers just to keep up with the demand. It forced them to rethink the whole staying independent idea. Now they've got big names knocking on their door. Yeah. Alibaba state-owned funds, mm -hmm. sovereign wealth funds, all wanting a piece of DeepSeek. It's a big decision for them. DeepSeek and the parent company are wrestling with this core question. Do they shift from just research to a business model that actually brings in revenue? And right at the center of all this is Lang Wenfeng, the CEO. He co-founded both High Flyer Quant and DeepSeek. He's a really interesting guy. Yeah, like a nerdy idealist kind of vibe. People say he really admires Jim Simons, the founder of Renaissance Technologies. Liang's big goal is AGI, Artificial General Intelligence AI, that can basically do anything a human can. Pretty ambitious. And that vision is like built into DeepSeek's foundation. From the start, Liang made it an academic research lab, attracting researchers who are all in on AGI. They were so committed to that they actually avoided fundraising turned down Chinese venture capital firms back in late 2023 and early 2024. Oh, and there's this story that went around from a former employee about Liang talking at an internal meeting. Oh, this should be good. He basically said that, yeah, DeepSeek was a little behind OpenAI, but he was confident they could contribute by focusing on cost reduction and efficiency. They were playing the long game. So while other companies were rushing to put out consumer products, DeepSeek was really digging into their research, perfecting their models. Totally different approach. Remember how ByteDance's AI chatbot, Dubo, got huge last year? DeepSeek could have jumped on that, but they stuck to their mission. And it paid off. In December 2023, they released version V3 of their large language model. It's what powers their AI. The crazy thing is they trained it using only 2,048 NVIDIA chips and spent just $5.5 million. Wow, that's wild, especially compared to what U.S. companies are spending. It shows how committed they are to efficiency, but then they really shook things up with their inference model, DeepSeek R1. That's the part that actually interacts with users. And it performed just as well as OpenAI's models, but way cheaper. And their mobile app launched a month ago. Instant hit in China. 30 million daily active users in less than a month. Broke records, fastest growing app in Chinese history. But that success came with problems. Their infrastructure couldn't handle it. They had to put limits on the app just to keep up. Now they're looking at major investment just for infrastructure. And of course, this caught the attention of the U.S. government. Yeah. They've been trying to slow down China's AI progress. They're even thinking about a bipartisan bill to ban DeepSeek's app from government devices. Which throws another wrench in the whole funding thing. Accepting money from big Chinese players, especially yeah. state-linked ones, could really worry the U.S. and limit DeepSeek's options there. Like what happened with Zippu AI last month, landing on the U.S. Department of Commerce watch list. Not a good look. Right. And to make things even more complicated, DeepSeek's actual revenue is tiny. Their chatbot app is free, and their R1 model's API charges way less than OpenAI's O1 model. They're prioritizing access and efficiency over making money right now, which is interesting. There is one thing, though. Tencent's WeChat started testing a feature using DeepSeek's AI model, but who knows how much money that'll actually bring in. So you've got DeepSeek, this super innovative company with incredible tech stuck between their AGI research and the realities in the market. It makes you wonder, can they actually stick to their vision while navigating all these geopolitical pressures and funding issues, or will they have to compromise their research to get the resources they need to grow? It's fascinating. We'll be keeping a close eye on this. Let's take a second to think about what we've learned about DeepSeek. They've achieved a lot by focusing on efficiency and research, but their sudden popularity has brought a whole new set of challenges and some tough choices. Yeah, they're at a turning point. And whatever they decide will affect not just them, but the whole AI landscape. That's what makes it so compelling. It really makes you think, what does success actually look like for a company like DeepSeek? Is it reaching that ultimate goal of AGI? Or is it building a profitable business that can compete on the world stage?
Tough question. No easy answers. On one hand, Liang's commitment to AGI is admirable. It's a bold vision that could change the world. But the pressure to make money is huge. They've got investors lining up, users growing like crazy competitors already making bank. Plus, the whole geopolitical situation deep seek can't ignore the U.S. government's worries about China's AI progress. It's like they're caught between their research aspirations and the forces of the market and global politics. Their decisions in the next few months could have a ripple effect across the entire AI industry. Like watching a tech thriller unfold in real time. You've got a brilliant CEO, groundbreaking tech, a global power struggle, all mixed together. And no matter what happens to DeepSeek, they've already had a huge impact on the AI world. In just two years, they've gone from a hedge fund spinoff to a major player. Developed amazing tech? attracted top talent, built a massive user base, and they did it all while staying true to their research mission. Shows their ingenuity, hard work, belief in their vision. They've shown you don't have to follow the rules to achieve amazing things. They challenge the status quo and push the limits of what's possible in AI. And they've inspired a whole new generation of AI researchers and entrepreneurs to think differently about the potential of this tech. Absolutely. While DeepSeek's future might be uncertain, their story's just beginning. It highlights how unpredictable the tech world can be. One minute you're a small lab, the next you're at the heart of a global power struggle. DeepSeek's dilemma makes us think about some fundamental questions about AI's role in our world. What are the ethical implications? Who benefits from all this? What safeguards do we need to make sure AI is used for good? Those are questions we all need to think about, not just people working in AI. The future of AI is in many ways the future of humanity. And the choices we make today will decide what that future looks like. And DeepSeek, in their own way, is helping to shape that future. I can't wait to see what they do next. This has been our deep dive into DeepSeek. We hope you found it as fascinating and thought-provoking as we have. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving deep.